Good morning, friends. I have some pictures to show you this morning. And when you see them up on the screen, I want you to focus on what you can find in every picture that is common. So there's something that is the same in every single one of these pictures. All right, focus real hard. Let's see what we can find. Okay, did anybody catch it? Let me know what you saw in all those pictures. That's right, John 3, 16. Does anyone know what that means? Can anyone tell me? Well, John 3, 16 is a Bible verse. John is the book of the Bible. Three is chapter three of John. And the 16 means verse 16. But if you don't know much about the Bible, you might not know what John 3:16 means, right? I'm sure some of you know that verse by heart. It's one of the most popular verses ever in the Christian faith. So if you know it, say it with me. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. Friends, that is a very important verse. It reminds us of how much God loves us, and it reminds us that we need God to overcome our sin. It reminds us that God sent Jesus for us, and that if we believe in Jesus, we can have eternal life. That's a very important verse. But I want you to know, it's not always enough just to put John 3.16 on the side of something or up on a big billboard, because what if people don't know what it means? So it's important for us not to just know what the verse says, but to live it out. For us to accept God's love, but also to show God's love to other people and show other people that God sent Jesus for them too and that they can have eternal life. So I encourage you not just to memorize that verse, but be willing to share that verse with other people and be able to live out what it means that God loved you so much that he sent his son and that because of that, you can have eternal life. So I encourage you to look throughout your life and find ways that you can live John 3, 16, that other people will see God's love in you. Will you pray with me? Dear God, we thank you for the gift of your word, for the encouragement it brings to us. Lord, help us to make sure that your word doesn't just become a billboard or a magnet or a t-shirt slogan, but Lord, that it becomes part of who we are, that your word lives within us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen.